Hey guys, what's going on? It's Russell. I hope you had a good week trading. I definitely had a great week trading. I'm pretty excited to show you some of the results from Michelle's small account challenge in SidekickTraders.com. I'll leave a link in the description. You can come and join us for two weeks for free. Check it out, see what you think. I know a few people that have watched my previous videos, this one here, the small account trading challenge update, and this other one. I've actually come into the room and I've been trading some of these and seem to be having some really good results. So. I figured I'd do another update video from this week and it's an exciting week for me because I've finally taken a small account following somebody else's alerts, not my own. Taken a small account from $500 to an over 150% gain in I think it took about 6 weeks. But I was really only taking a handful of the trades that Michelle was alerting and pretty much all of them have been winners. So I can dive into some of the details in a sec but I think Let's go to the Discord. So this is the Sidekick Traders Discord, for you that aren't in it. This is the options channel that we have. Michelle's small account challenge is the thing I'm talking about today. And we have these different threads for different trades that come out throughout the day. So we started one for the Tesla one, 110 calls in the afternoon. So I'll give you a quick rundown of that trade and then I'll try and show you the results that Michelle's had, I've had, and other people that are in the room are having with this with this challenge. So I think it's fair to start with Michelle since they're her alerts. So I think she posted a recent update. Let's see, navigate around here. So Ms. Small Account is where all the magic happens. Here we go. So basically these are option trades. They're usually day trades. They generally are held anywhere from 20 minutes to 3 hours, sometimes overnight, but not very often. Hopefully you can see this. Um, so this is Michelle logging all her trades. So here's the date, started in September 9th. Sorry, the 1st of September. I'm half dead today. And um, these are all the trades. She's done 32 trades and she's only lost two, these two. So you can see that if you're busy and you don't catch all the trades, the win rate is so high that you pretty much will hit winners, right? The problem with a lot of these other small account challenges is if the win, you know, if the win rate is only 70% or 60% and you only take a few of the trades, I guarantee you, you'll be in the ones that lose and the person who's running the challenge will make all the money and you'll lose all the money. And with Michelle, that's not been the case at all. In fact, pretty much everybody is doing as good if not a better job in terms of trading them than Michelle is. It's her alerts and she guides us but we're able to work around them uh, and trade them our own way. And it's kind of a running joke now <laughs> that it's like everybody's making making a lot of money on these trades when really they're Michelle's trades <laughs> in the first place. Uh, but she's doing amazing, look at this, 100% gain. Um, but over 32 trades, so we're not talking about some lotto here, we're not talking about she took her 500 bucks and, you know, threw it into some crazy lotto play that doubled overnight and then she's about to lose it all again. You can see the consistency here is amazing. It's uh, 30 wins, 2 losses, and the losses weren't particularly big. They weren't tiny, I mean 63 bucks and 177 bucks, but they weren't huge at all. I mean, that barely wipes out maybe two wins, you know? Um, so, with this win rate, and the fact that these are very easy trades to get into, like, you're not in a rush to get into any of these. They pretty much always pull back, which is why I joked a few minutes ago that you can do better than Michelle. It's Michelle's getting in, but, like, this thing is not rocketing right away. Often, if you're patient or just by luck, you know, like, you don't see the alert for five minutes, you can get in at a lower price. Uh, but Michelle's general thesis for the trade is almost always correct. It's nearly always... Uh, she, she gets the direction right, but, of course, you have these fluctuations in the price. So you can always get in a similar, if not much, lower price. And I actually start scaling in now on my bigger account, so I, uh, to try and... Uh, get the best possible average. Anyway, so these are the results that Michelle's had. Um, they are really amazing. I mean, I don't know any other room that does this. I've seen plenty of rooms take 500 bucks and turn it into zero dollars and then start again. But I've never seen somebody methodically and consistently just generate wins, small wins. Like we're only talking 10, 20, 30, 40 bucks over and over and over again until they've doubled the account. Michelle's done this before. She took $500 into and turned it into $5,000 over six months. Um, I think that's just truly, truly amazing. And I'm really happy to be along 
on the ride. Now Michelle's super transparent, she posts everything, she posts every order, she posts screenshots every single time, you can see absolutely everything, there's like no, there's no nonsense going on here basically. Um, so, let me see, uh, I was going to show you some of the trades, so we did, well I didn't do all of these, I think I did Tesla, well we'll look in a minute, so yeah, let's look at my broker to see what I did. I didn't play everything exactly the same as Michelle today, I was in and out. Uh, so Tesla contracts, these are these ones. So she allowed these Tesla contracts and I really liked the chart. It was really bullish and I, you know, when that happens I, I went and I went a little bit harder than I normally do. So I got these contracts 29th of October, 1110 calls. If we go to the Discord, we started to Tesla 110 calls. So here is the thread that started as soon as Michelle said she was watching Tesla. So you can see this Tesla. Obviously, super risky play. Um, these are like not for the faint of heart. It happens every Friday. We do. <laughs> Michelle does these um, zero days to expiration plays. I love them, but they're definitely not for the faint of heart. This one luckily went really well in her favor very quickly. So she puts when she's watching, a couple of minutes later what she's bidding and then she got filled at 235 I think and then she continues to update with the charts and you can see look at this chart I mean what is there not to love it's just fantastic so uh, I was happy going in going in with a few more contracts than normal. Uh, so look at that thing so then she puts her out 17% quick winner and then a screenshot um, from TradeStation everything so like honestly it's some of the best trade alerts that I've ever had the privilege of being part of and it's just amazing so Skyman big shout out to you it sounds like you saw one of these videos um, a week ago and joined the room and you're doing just paper trading these and looks like you got 50% uh, profit on these Tesla contracts with your paper trade well actually so did I but in a non paper trading account these were the Tesla contracts um, Tesla had six of them I think I think it came to about 1400 bucks in the trade so still really small and then here's the profit $712 over here and then I had a quick play on Netflix outside of the small account challenge. So, so it's funny because the problem I'm having now is these alerts are just so so solid that my original plan was just to do a five hundred dollar account challenge, right? Start with five hundred, take the trades, and see if I could keep up with Michelle in terms of like replicating the trades because that's what people pay for subscriptions for. You know, it's, I want to make sure that I can do it. Um, so. The problem I'm having now, though, is like it just feels wrong to be using five hundred dollars. Like, literally, if you're winning thirty out of thirty-two trades, like, who wants to just use five hundred if if you know if they can't? So I've started to go in a bit harder and then record my profits by scaling, right? So if I would normally take two contracts and I take eight, I'd just divide by four and make sure I didn't do any use any more buying power on that to simulate a $500 account challenge. So it's not totally kosher, but I hope you can see what I'm kind of talking about. So my results um, today and for the, these trades. So like I mentioned, I'm pretty busy a lot and I've been missing half of these trades. So while Michelle's done 32, I've only done 15. So these are the numbers along here. I'm doing 15 of these trades. Here are the tickers. I haven't put the dates or anything. I probably should. Um, it's all documented in the Discord though. Um, so you can see that it's pretty small wins and then you can start to see where I started to increase my position size um, but report, um, the basically report the, the fractional wins. So uh, even though I just showed you a $700 Tesla call win, I uh, only took a third of that as the $500 account challenge, right? So then anything else I haven't counted for the day. So even though I played Netflix, I haven't included it in the small account challenge because I wouldn't have had any buying power to do so. So it's a little weird, I know. The point is that the trades work. Um, and if you'd started and played it exactly as I had with 500 bucks, you would now be at 1,272 bucks. So that's 154% in 15 trades over the course of six weeks, which is pretty awesome 
can't really ask for better than that. Um, and it's the consistency that really, really seals the deal for me on this. So, so I started scaling in, like I said, I, instead of just taking one or two contracts, I'll take five or 10 contracts. And my total profits have been a lot more than this because of that. So it's been a few thousand dollars um, rather than just 772. Um, so Michelle's doubled her account of 1.5 times the account. Um, a lot of other guys are doing well. I know that this guy, Josh, hello Josh, if you're watching this, he's multiplied his account by four, so 400% gains just by averaging down and scaling into trades that Michelle's taken. And quite a few other people. Let me just have a quick look through. So we have a general chat for Michelle's stuff in here. <laughs> people are pretty excited today. Um, so, yeah, so here's one I did. This was Netflix, so I didn't include this in my official record of the $500 challenge because I'd already used up that buying power on Tesla. This one, I knew I was going to be on a call, so I quickly pulled up the chart. It looked like it was a key breakout point. Uh, it did break out a little bit. And then I was so tempted and it pulled back and then actually did get filled. I got filled at 275, it ran to 239 quickly. I got out because I had a meeting. And then I looked back and everybody's getting out in the threes um, under the Netflix. So many. We did a lot of trades today. Let's see. Yeah, people were out at $4 and things. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope that kind of makes sense. It's a small account challenge, but we're not just trading with small amounts. You can if you want, but I'm not going to stick with $500 positions if it is so uh, lucrative. So, yeah, come and join us. Uh, Michelle's super awesome. She's really open, transparent, and friendly, helpful. She's doing this because she wants to help people make money. She's been trading professionally for at least a year now, uh, full time. And she's one of the best traders I've met for a long time, that's for sure. Alright guys, till next time. Cheers.